Hey my YouTube dogs and welcome back to my channel. So I know I am extremely late with this video and I do apologize. Life happened. <laughs> There's just so much stuff going on and I haven't had a chance to sit down and actually record this video. So this would be my one month update, week four, week five, and week six update. I'm behind. But first of all, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers who've been emailing me, reaching to me, asking me am I okay. How's everything going? I am okay, you guys. It's just been busy with work. I'm working a second job now and just been busy, busy, busy since I came back from vacation. And it's been so much going on. But I wanted to sit down this morning and talk to you guys about what's been going on with my weight loss journey. It's been amazing. So much information. I want to make this video short. So I began my week four or my one month update on February 11th. Um, and I was in my dreaded stall. Um, if you don't know the weight loss community, you go into a stall around your week four, week three, week four. Um, your body just stalled because you lost so much weight rapidly that you stall. And I actually gained four pounds that week. So I'm going to put all my numbers in the description box because I just wrote down a quick little notes so you guys can see the actual numbers. Um, but I, yeah, I gained. I went to 267 um, during the week four, 211 week, February 11th week. Um, but I didn't get upset. I didn't get mad. What I did during my week four, um, I had a reflection moment. I reflect back to my highest weight. I looked at pictures, we'll get to that in a minute. And I reflect back to Christmas when I started this journey to how my body felt at that week four. So if you're going through a stall, first tip, take lots of pictures, take measurements of your body. Just because that scale is not moving, trust me, the inches are moving fast. <laughs> Your body is losing inches crazily. I didn't do a lot of measurements. I did take a lot of pictures. So during my week four, I just looked back over pictures for the last few months. It was just amazing how my body was changing, how my clothes size was changing. I had to buy a few new pieces for my cruise because clothes was just too big on me. So it was a good month Do I gained the four pounds. I didn't really trip. Um, I knew my body was going through this crazy stall. I was just so emotional with happiness. Like, wow, my body is really changing. Um, I was able to fit in a couple of pieces of my door to close. So that was just like, hey. Uh, so yeah, so that was a really good moment. Um, dealing with my week four, one month update. I just reflected on how far I came. Um, another thing that I reflected on was the fact that prior to my journey, I had weight loss surgery, I was on so much medication, so much medication, pain medication, diabetes medication, high blood pressure medic medication. And at that one month mark, y'all, one month after surgery, I am on no medication at all, none. I only take my vitamins that I need to take um, it was at a point where I was taking three ibuprofen 800s a day for my knee pain, back pain, etc. I don't have those pains anymore. No medication after one month after surgery. So, although the scale went up four pounds, I still was so happy because that's a huge victory um, right there. So, then we get into, I traveled. Many of you guys thought we were on a cruise. Going into my week five. Um, so... So things you will find out in this video that you'll later see in the vlog is that I was sick. Oh my God, on the cruise, back into the minute. I began, so I went on my cruise February 15th through February the 18th. I went on a three day cruise to Nassau, Bahamas. Um, first day I was fine. Um, I was eating, still small portions. I took a lot of Premier Protein shakes so I can make sure my protein in. But I woke up the next day on the 16th so sick to the stomach. I didn't have any liquor at all through the whole cruise. I didn't drink liquor. I drank plenty of liquids. Um, a TMI moment. I was extremely constipated. And it kept progressing to extreme. Um, one of the things that was really, really hard was the morning of when we was in Nassau, Bahamas. We, went, we made it there on the 16th. I didn't even get off the boat. I couldn't physically get off the boat because it was just that bad. 
Um, I want to thank Carnival Cruise Line because I was able to go to the ship doctor and I didn't get charged those outrageous fees. If you're a a cruise, you know when you visit the ship doctor, it's like $150 or $200 just to, for a consultation. Um, but I, I didn't get charged those fees. But I went down to the ship doctor that morning of the 16th, had a consultation. They gave me some medicine, regular medicine, make up amnesia, told me to drink prune juice, apple juice, nothing happened. I was in so much pain and the vlogs are going to be really, really short because I literally was in the bed in pain and they was talking about maybe getting off the, taking me off the boat, to go to the hospital, whatever like that, because it was just bad constipation. Nothing was moving. And I wasn't eating outrageous. I was eating things that I eat at home. So I was nervous, like, why now? And then me, I pack everything. The one medicine I didn't pack was my medicine for constipation that they gave me at the hospital. So I was really mad I didn't pack the medication. But um, so later that evening, if you follow me on my Facebook channel, we had Elegant Night and we all wore Wakanda wear, African attire. I was so sick. It was just extremely sick. The ship doctor had called me right before we went to dinner, asking me, was the medication working? I said, no. Um, that's what they start talking about, maybe getting me out the ship, going to the local hospital. I'm like, I ain't trying to do that. I was just frustrated. Um, after dinner, I was just like, look, I want to get off the ship. I'm in the Bahamas. I want to get off the ship and enjoy some of my vacation. I don't know what happened. I prayed to the gods, hallelujah. And everything just passed on out. <laughs> I mean, it was just like a ah, moment. That yeah, so I was happy. The medication that the doctor gave me finally kicked in, and I was feeling so much better after that. So, my first time off the ship is the nighttime. When you see the vlogs, you understand what I'm talking about. My cruise vlogs, which should be up shortly. I didn't get off the boat at all until like 10 30 that night in the Bahamas, but I felt amazing at that moment. I felt light, I felt free, and <laughs> so it was just a really great moment. So the constipation game was very, 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 very real. It made me feel lightheaded. It was just really bad. Um, so that was that on the cruise. Um, coming back home, I began my week five on February the 18th. On my cruise, I had lost three of the pounds that I gained. So I was really, really happy. I come back home and I weighed 264 on Monday, February the 18th. Um, so I lost three pounds on the cruise and I ate pretty well. I was nervous about how I was going to eat. Um, in the dining room, it was very accommodating to, you know, me being an early very active patient. And I received smaller size meals. I mean, my options was very good. So I was really nervous about that, but I was really happy. I enjoyed my cruise. I enjoyed my cruise food. Um, let me see what's what I reflect about that. Make sure I got my things. So doing, coming home on 218, going into this current week, I wanted to increase my protein and my water. Um, one thing first, I have a great relationship with my nutritionist. I mean, we talk, we text, I text on a ship like, girl, I'm constipated, help. I, I have a really great relationship with my nutritionist. After surgery, still contact the surgeon, your doctors, nutritionists. They're still there to help you out through this journey. Don't be afraid to contact them. So I contact my nutritionist, like, look, I gained this four pounds weeks ago. I want to get back to losing. She encouraged me to increase my protein, increase my water, and increase my exercise. So over the last week, I've done all. One thing for me is I hate the flavor, hold on guys, of regular water. I drink a lot of tea, green tea. I drink a lot of flavor water with sugar-free um, water singles in. So I do a lot of flavor water, but I don't drink regular water. The taste is disgusting to me. Um, but I have been getting in over 64 ounces of water. I'm trying to get to a gallon. I have increased my exercise. I now walk um, in the morning time. I try to get between two to three miles in the morning time and two to three miles in the evening. So I try to get between five to six miles in a day with walking. I go to the gym three to five times a week. So I've already increased and upping that workout. Um, Increasing my protein, getting it in with all my meals. I'm at a place where I'm eating whatever I want. I don't have any restrictions in my diet anymore. Um, so I just eat whatever I desire, but I make sure I get my protein in first so I can have that done. Um, 
and it's been working. It's been working. It was a very good week last week, being back home, getting in the swing of things, getting busy with work, but still getting the exercise in, that walking in, um, motivating my family, me exercising more, they exercise more. So that's been really good. Um, so reflecting back today, today is the February 25th, which would be my week six, wait, four or five, I said week six update. I'm so crazy. I'm going crazy. Four or five, yes, week six update. And I'm happy to announce that I lost two pounds since last week. So I'm getting down there again. I'm at 262. I do realize that I'd probably be a slow loser. Or I don't know if it's just because of the stall, but whatever it is, I'm happy. It feels good when you meet people. I saw somebody I haven't saw like in a few months. And I, wait a minute, girl. I see you disappear. I'm like, yes, honey, I am. Yes, I am. Um, so it feels good seeing yourself differently. I know some people still see their self as their old self, but y'all, I'm seeing myself as a whole new person. Like, I don't see that bigger woman that I was a few months ago. I see myself as the woman who I am now. My body feels amazing. Like, not being in pain. When I walk, or when I sit, my knees, I hurt my back, I hurt, I feel energy. Some, I mean, some days I have such high energy. Um, it's ridiculous, and some days I still have a little energy, but I'm still feeling great. Um, overall, I'm enjoying my tour. I'm enjoying getting to enjoy food again. Um, I know at one point I said I hated food, I eat because I have to, but I've just been trying so many new recipes and enjoying them. I'm enjoying being able to see more of my neck. Y'all see all this neck, y'all? I got a neck. I've been enjoying I take pictures, I see my neck, like it's like, oh my god, I have a neck. I don't I'm enjoying this. I mean, I have been looking at the small victories and enjoying them. This is a tool. I didn't gain all this weight like that. I'm not gonna lose it like that. If you have this surgery and you get into stalls, reflect and enjoy the small moments. Just Christmas. I was 300 pounds. Just last summer, I was 310 pounds. Today, I'm 262 pounds. Close, very, very close to a 50 pound loss. I'm extremely happy about that. Like, I'm happy. I'm being at my highest weight, two pounds. Like, that's exciting. And I know it's only gonna get better. So I just wanna encourage you all, if you're going through stalls or you wonder if the tool is working, Reflect back on those tiny moments. Take penny of pictures. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Bye-bye.